Read your Bible. Don't quote stupid stuff you've heard your whole life. I'm a tattoo artist, and I'm a pastor. Amen. In this town, people either love me or they hate me. Some people think we're a cult. It just crawls all over me when I hear people trying to be biblical and they're screwing it up. The other people think I'm a rock star. They're talking about me, that's all that matters. Don't just talk, talk. Know what it says. I'll make an impression on their soul here at the church. I make an impression on their skin at the tattoo shop. Either way, if I do my job right, it'll last forever. So what brings you guys in here today? We are talking about renewing our vows. We've been married 13 years, and we've been looking deeper into the Bible and, and our faith and hoping to find something that could tie the two of those together. So when people come in to get a Christian tattoo at my shop, they know that the tattoo they're going to get is going to line up with what the Bible says. This is kind of neat. If you think about it, and you're talking about tying your faith into your marriage, you've got this circle. This circle is like a wedding ring, which means eternity. It's never ending. And when you think about marrying somebody, it's till death do you part. It's never ending. Then you have the Trinity knot. You have one that represents the Father, one represents the Son, Jesus Christ, and the other one is the Holy Spirit. So you got your Trinity knot tying together with the ring itself, which is your new renewing of your vows in God. You like that? I like that a lot. Right, cool. How about you? Yeah, cool. I like that. You know, there's so many times people come in and they want to get a Christian-oriented tattoo and they want all this serious three nails and blood dropping in a crown of thorns. Jesus is fun, too. He had a great sense of humor. I mean, you can have fun with Christian tattoos. The hardest part about running a tattoo shop, without a doubt, is the people. It's like herding cats. Seriously, go clean up the uh, autoclave room. Get it done. Mm. Brent's my apprentice. You know, in tattooing, you don't get the sketch. You've got, you've got to be able to pull that line nice and sharp. His hand shakes so bad, he may never be a tattoo artist. I have the coordination of a Muppet. At some point, you've got to jump from the paper to skin. You just got to do it. Dave, come on, we're going to do a tattoo. Brent's going to do one on you. Yeah. Yes. I don't know about that. I don't know who's more nervous, either Dave or me, but I'm pretty sure that's me because I'm nervous constantly. Turn around this way. And pull your pants up. It's a tattoo, not a cavity search. <laughs> Dave is that crazy friend that literally is nuts. Yeah, 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 what do you want? <laughs> Sometimes Dave is so amped up on his energy, his Red Bull, his coffee. Stop, seriously. Listen, all right? Yeah, just slow down. The hardest part of working for Billy is uh, just the OCD. Don't forget. Hole, fence, poles, fence, door, sanctuary. I can't remember all that. Are you serious? Yeah. Pay attention, because I know you're going to mess this up. If it wasn't for my wife, Lynn, we wouldn't have a business or a church. The utilities are due. This is where we're at, right here. If we don't get them into the chair here, where I, at least they're a captive audience and I can witness to them, and then I can get them into the church. My goal is that when people sit down in the chairs of the tattoo shop, they sit down in the chairs of the church. That's where they're really going to get fed. That's where they're going to be able to build that relationship with God. And that's what's important. Some people think it's nuts for Billy to run two businesses at one time. That's what Billy needs for his personality. I serve a mighty God. A mighty God. Amen? No matter what valley I'm walking through, I will not walk in fear because I know God is with me. I'm in the tattoo business and the soul saving business. And brother, a business is a booming. I've got a Franken Jesus on my arm, you know? Both of them died and rose again. 